Oh, yes. Are you hiding? Are you hiding? Are you playing peekaboo? Are you playing peekaboo? Lisa and Marcus Brady wanted kids from the moment they got married. But for them, like for so many, getting pregnant wasn't easy. Um, we were the classic um, wanted babies and couldn't. So we had to go the IVF route. So I didn't know what to expect. Plus, I came from a place of fear. I mean, I'd been trying. I think I put up this wall because my always my saying was, I'm an older mom, so I was like, babies can't have babies. But the truth was, was I really wanted babies. I just didn't want to admit that I couldn't. And so it was a silent battle from the start. It was a battle they ended up winning. Lisa became pregnant with twins Liam and Margot in 2019. However, the pregnancy was tough, and to make matters even tougher, the babies decided to come early. Very early, in fact. My water broke, and I was only 30 weeks. And I woke Marcus up, and he was like, no, 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 you just, you just peed your pants. I was, I was asking, I was, it wasn't, yeah, I was hoping that she had just peed her pants, but no, her water had broke, and luckily we only lived five minutes from the hospital, so it, it took us no time to get there, so that was nice. Within a few short hours of arriving at St. Mark's Hospital in Salt Lake City, twins Liam and Margo were born prematurely, both weighing only three pounds. We knew it was serious when all the NICU nurses ran in, but they brought this like peace around them. They really were these emotional cheerleaders, not just nurses, they went above and beyond. And I remember being wheeled into the NICU for the first time to see my babies. I was there. I got to hold my babies for the first time together. And the NICU nurse, moved two incubators, moved two wires, called in a respiratory therapist just so I could hold both of my babies at the same time. They made our experience that was so hard, so easy. We love them. We're forever thankful for St. Mark's. In all, Liam and Margo spent 47 days in the NICU. They survived, and today, the Brady family is thriving. To just see how they are now, I like love the fighting, the fact that they're healthy and fighting. I mean, granted, we're not perfect, and they're not perfect, but they made it, and in any other shape or form, they probably wouldn't have. The Bradys are just one of many success stories from St. Mark's NICU. And now these families are giving back through the new NICU Hall of Hope, a hallway filled with portraits of former patients who came and conquered. Look at that. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who was that? Baby Who was it? Who was that? Baby Margo and who else? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I just remember like crying in these halls thinking like I never would get out of here. So just to walk down and see the survivors, it just like warms my heart. It makes me feel so grateful. You made it! You made it! Yes! <laughs> Reporting in Salt Lake City, Chris DeRose, Fox 13, Utah.